Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about how to use your Bissell Little Green carpet cleaning machine. I'll be trying it out on a couple of different stains and areas within my home, and we'll be giving you the step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it, along with a review of how it's working. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe by hitting the red button down below and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a future upload. The Bissell Little Green Machine is really easy to get up and running. First, you're going to take your clean water tank and you're going to fill it with some of the spot and stain formula cleaner that is provided. They give a sample right in the box, which is what I used. There's a line down towards the bottom of the container and that's how much of the solution that you want to fill it with. After you do that, all you have to do is fill the rest with lukewarm water, which I did right from the tap. It'll get nice and sudsy in there, and there is a water fill line, so you just want to fill it to that correct amount, which I'm pointing out here. Once you do that, you can put the cap back on, and this is then going to go upside down so that it can drain through the machine, uh, and it clicks right back into place. Super easy setup. After you've filled the machine with the cleaning solution, you want to take your brush attachment, which has the part where the cleaning solution will spray out from that brush attachment and it will also vacuum back up the dirty water. So you wanna take this brush attachment, unwrap your hose from your machine and it'll just click right into place. After that, all you have to do is plug in your machine and you'll turn it on and off with a simple power button on the front of the machine. Setup could not be faster or easier to go from the box to actually working with your Bissell Little Green Cleaner. I always recommend testing out a small inconspicuous spot on anything that you're going to clean whether it's carpet or something like a couch like i'm doing here so here i picked a very small part to test on the side of the couch where no one is really going to see in case it stains discolors or for whatever reason is not suitable for use with this um, and so just spray a little bit of the solution vacuum it back up and then let it dry here I came back to test this and it worked just fine. It dried completely and there was no discoloration. So I knew that I was good to use it on the actual stain on my couch. Here you can see the stain. This is from moving the couch into my new house. It's scraped up against the um, black painted door frame and railing outside. So it was pretty gross and I knew that I needed to clean it um, because on a white couch, any stain is really easily visible. All you need to do to use this machine and clean it effectively is you use the trigger button to spray enough of the cleaning solution. You can always spray more. And then you just can agitate your stain by scrubbing back and forth with the brush. And then you're just at the same time constantly vacuuming up that cleaning solution and it's picking up the stain at the same time. Here you can see on time lapse, I had to work at the stain for quite a while. So it doesn't happen immediately, but a couple minutes of continuing to apply more cleaning solution agitating the stain by rubbing back and forth and vacuuming up all of the cleaning solution and, and dirty water. It worked wonderfully. Here is the finished product on my white couch. You can no longer see any trace of the stain, so I was really thrilled. Another main use for the Bissell Little Green Carpet Cleaner is actually spot cleaning on carpets. It's not big enough for you to fully um, wash your entire carpet, but it's good for little stains. So if you're cleaning on carpet, you want to make sure that you vacuum first, which is what I did here, before attacking the small stain areas with the Bissell. Bissell does have pre-stain treatment that you can buy separately that you can spray on, let it sit for a couple of minutes before you go come at it with this machine. I didn't find a need to use that in any of the places that I was cleaning in my home today, but just so you know, you do have that option if you've got a really tough stain. It's pretty satisfying to watch this machine do its thing. It's great that you can visually see it sucking up the cleaning solution and any stain or dirty water as you clean. Um, so you can make sure that you're using enough of the solution or adjust as you need as you go through and clean. I found that just with the couch, the machine did a great job cleaning in the spot areas on my low pile carpet. So I was really satisfied with that. The next thing that I wanted to try out the Bissell Little Green on were the outdoor cushions for the chairs that go with my patio table. These I had gotten with the table on Facebook Marketplace. I had deep cleaned the table, but still needed to clean 
the cushions and let me tell you they may not look dirty but because of the color of the fabric they were hiding a lot of dirt so i went over these um as you can see line by line and it was incredible the color that was coming up through the hose it was really gross but the Bissell did a great job and uh, the only thing when you're doing something a little bit less uh, flat like this is you need to, in my recommendation, um, stop spraying the cleaning solution just before the end. Otherwise, I was having the cleaning solution in the water actually roll off the cushion before I could actually vacuum it up. So that would be my recommendation. And you can see I'm kind of starting the lines a couple inches down and ending them an inch or so below the bottom found that I still spread the cleaning solution on the entire cushion, but it made it for a more mess-free cleaning experience. I tried out the Bissell Little Green in these three areas in my house for today's video, but I'm curious, what have you used the Bissell Little Green on in your house? Do you have any recommendations, things that's great at cleaning, or things you've cleaned with it that you would not recommend others use? I'd love if you could drop those in the comments below and we can kind of share and learn together for the Bissell Little Green. Just like setup is a breeze, to get started using the Bissell Little Green, cleanup is also a breeze. You just need to unplug the machine. You can wrap the cord in the provided hooks on the back so it goes perfectly together there. Then all you need to do is disconnect your brush heads so that you can rinse that later. And the hose will just wrap right around with its um, buckles to keep it in place on the machine itself. And just like that, you're done. When you want to empty the water buckets, you can see cleaning the couch, spot cleaning the carpet, and cleaning um, the cushions for my patio chairs. It used almost all of that water and cleaning solution that I had. On the flip side of the machine is the dirty water tank. So here's where you can see what it picked up and what it cleaned out of the areas. Thing to keep in mind here, there's no lid on this dirty water tank, so be careful as you lift it up. But here you can see how brown and gross that water is. You just want to dump it into the toilet so that you can flush it right away and be proud of all that you have cleaned from your house. Once you are done emptying both the clean and the dirty water tank, you wanna make sure that you spend some time cleaning them or at a minimum rinsing them out so that they are in working order um, and you can use the machine pretty quickly the next time around. Safe to say, I am very satisfied with how the Bissell Little Green cleaned my couch, my carpet, and my patio cushions. Seeing the dirty water that collected at the end, that was alarming, <laughs> but also satisfying. I think this product is absolutely worth its price of $99. You can use it in so many different places and in different uses in your home, and it really does a fantastic job cleaning with minimal setup it is easy to use and minimal cleanup at the end. Thanks for joining me as I tried it out around my house.